Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about believe them when they show you their true colors. Believe them. And most importantly, know that they're not going to change for you. Okay. So this is, this can be a red flag when you, when somebody tells you, uh, for example, that they don't believe in love or that they don't believe in long-term relationships or that they don't believe in marriage or whatever example you can think of and you're like, no, he's going to change for me, okay? So today I'm going to share this story of a client that gave me her permission to share her story, obviously, anonymously, right? So we're going to use this very common example. And that is when a man tells you that he doesn't believe in marriage or that he doesn't believe in, in love or whatever. We're going to use a marriage example of my client. She met this guy and she's tremendously into the manifestation um, community. You know, like I breathe and live manifestation. It's a lifestyle for me. And that's kind of how I met her. So... She met this guy. She manifested this guy abroad. They they live in Europe. And this guy told her that he doesn't believe in marriage. She is about 33. And she was really looking to start a family. And... She affirmed and she, long story short, they got into, they were dating, you know, they got into a situation ship and she was like, we are soulmates. We are twin flames. We are, we have this connection like no other. Okay. This is important for you to listen because a lot of times you think you have this amazing connection with someone and you, and you very well may, okay? But this guy told her that he doesn't believe in marriage. And she came to me saying, but he will marry me. So this comes to... To the fact that a lot of, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, someone's telling you something, they're showing you their true colors, and you're like, nope, with me, it's going to be different. I'm going to make him change. He's going to be so into me that it's going to be different for me. Think about the example of... The guy that player turned into family man. Sure, this can very well happen. It happens all the time. But if he's a type that always had female friends, this very well can stay there in different iterations. Going back to her story, they were doing kind of like long distance, whatever. And again, she's just consulting me. She's not like, a, you know, like a, a client that is in my courtship for marriage program. So she, they, they date for what, a year? And then because she's 33 or almost 34, her clock is ticking like there's no tomorrow. 
and somehow you know she got the guy to propose to her after a year um he gave her a ring okay and she had just gotten pregnant maybe like a month or two before that so she gets pregnant okay and she's saying that they're going to get married but the guy is showing red flag after red flag after red flag he told her that he doesn't believe in marriage and i said oh believe him believe him because when they tell you something like that this is this is about a value a deep seated value okay they're saying it for a reason they had a childhood with trauma or their parents were anything but a role model or example okay so this man even if he for you like fell in love or whatever the amount of inner work and the amount of issues that you would run into are huge so this man with this girl he he lived in a very crappy you know apartment in a big city the guy really didn't seem to to have any means to support uh, a family in such large city right to support a, a wife and a and a baby right his apartment was that of a you know the not a, the good bachelor type but like the the nasty bachelor type where like the place is basically a dump his lifestyle is that of a bachelor right like he's into like extreme like sports and just things that are dangerous in general right and what happens next she has a baby and by this time maybe like almost two years have passed and again it this was like odd consultations right and once a, the honeymoon has passed once a baby has come well now we're into reality where she's starting to see that this guy is really not cut out for or not even cut out like he's just not he never did the inner work and this guy must be like in his 40s right somewhere in his 40s a guy in his 40s when he doesn't have his stuff together and he told you that he doesn't believe in marriage or long term or anything like that or that he doesn't believe that a man should take care of a woman or just those very fundamental things okay that are like the the get-go the first step in a to for an actual relationship well now she you know she spent her pregnancy basically alone and now she was trying to make it work to see if she's actually going to marry the guy, right? Their date kept being postponed over and over and over. So now he told you from day one, he's not this type to build a life with. He's basically telling you in different... When a man tells you he doesn't believe in taking care of a woman or a family, that he's not believing in marriage and all these traditional things he's basically telling you we're gonna fuck for a while for three months 
or for three years, and then I'm going to be on to the next. That's what he's telling you, okay? When he he doesn't believe in any of the traditional stuff and things. So do you want to go along with that? Well, now this girl, she, she's 34, almost 35, single mother now. Now she's saying or seeing that this man is not material to, like, he's not someone, you know, now he's doing all the bad behaviors. Kind of like she, they were looking for for an apartment together in this big city. And she's in a different country. He's in his country. And he's having her kind of do all the work of finding an ap apartment in, in his country online. And she's kind of like working overtime to make that work. And she's doing all the work. Like, so she's realizing this guy is already checked out with all the bad behaviors and pa pa uh, how do you say it? Passivity or passiveness, whatever. Now he's totally passive and she's doing all the work and things. So now she's about to leave him. Single mother. Okay, so at least she had the baby that she wanted, but here comes that cycle again of being single mothers, teaching your daughter, you know, she had a baby daughter, teaching your daughter that uh, there's no good man out there and that, you know, that relationships are shit and marriage is crap and, oh, you know, all these things just because you didn't want to listen to the guy that has, is telling you between the lines when he's telling you he doesn't believe in this or that. He's telling you between the lines that you guys are going to fuck for a couple of months or a couple of years at the most. He's telling you he wants you for a temporary thing. Okay? So, when a man shows you he's when a man tells you, when a man shows you who he is, believe him. So example, a guy that likes to party, that likes to drink quite a bit. Buyer beware. This is who he is. For example, when I was doing circular dating for marriage, even though, you know, in university in my time, I've partied all the things you do in university, okay? But when it comes to, fuck this, there's like a thumbs up that keeps coming up. Hopefully you don't see that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so in university, I, you know, I went partying, I did all the things you do in university, whatever that is. Well, when it came to the time of getting married, whoever I may have gone on a date in the past that was fun, right? He wouldn't have been a candidate for marriage for me, right? Because I wouldn't be dating for marriage um, a man that likes drinking. What does he do on the weekend? He goes out drinking or he watches hockey or football um i don't know drinking like a six six pack of beer where drinking is part of his lifestyle when you see that believe him because how many inquiries do i not get where there was a guy that drinks a lot or or i don't know think Think of all the things that could present themselves to you when you're dating and you're like, no, he's going to change for me. You know, it's going to be different with me or it'll be okay. 
because the skeletons, the, the consequences, they come out a couple of years down the road. I'm telling you, after that honeymoon phase, one year and a half, two years, all the problems start to fester. His little things that were kind of, you know, quirks when you first met him is going to come out. So please don't ignore that red flag. If he's telling you he doesn't like brunettes and you're a brunette <laughs> or something along those lines, believe them when they show you, believe them when they tell you stuff like that. Okay, so let's keep it short and that'll be it for now, but stay tuned for all the videos that are coming. Make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.